You see, you might not believe it, kids, but do you know that there was actually a time when the American corporation was actually expected to care? When I was growing up, if somebody had worked for decades for a company, it was the social accept, it, we all assumed that the corporation would care that that person had a dignified retirement. It was trickle-down economics in the 80s that introduced this notion that the only thing the corporation owed was fiduciary responsibility to its own stockholders. Government should get out of the way. We should, it should be unfettered by ethical or moral consideration or government regulation. But it would be great, see, because all this money would be made by this, by this stockholder class and CEO class, and then they would create jobs. There would be job creators, and all the money would trickle down to everybody else, and it would lift all boats. OK, after 40 years, though, 40 years, I think the jury is in on whether or not that worked. It has not lifted all boats. It has left millions and millions of people without even a life vest. It has destroyed America's middle class. It has left us with 1% of Americans only more wealth than the bottom 90%. But I'll tell you something that I find very interesting. Milton Friedman himself, who was the main articulator of, of the idea of trickle-down economics, do you know that he himself actually said, well, the only way this will be safe, however, is if we have a universal basic income. This idea of just creating this small class of corporate aristocrats who basically get everything, and too bad about what that does to indigenous tribes, too bad what that does to kids, too bad what it does to elderly people, too bad what it does to people who can't get an education, too bad what it does to the planet. That's got to end, ladies and gentlemen. It's got to be a fundamental pattern disruption, a fundamental pattern disruption of our social and our economic and our political functioning. And of course, those who are entrenched within it, of course they say anyone who suggests this isn't possibly qualified. Of course they say that. She's not qualified to run this engine, not on the car you guys are driving. We need a different car. I'm sorry. <laughs>